Thank you for watching this video. Uh, today I will be going over some basic maintenance steps for the Mozilla Firefox web browser. And so if you've been experiencing problems with it running slow, or you've got a bunch of toolbars and junk in the toolbar, or if your uh, homepage just abruptly changed, or if you're having any issues with Mozilla Firefox, this will help with that. And I am doing it here on Windows 10, but these steps will also work with Windows 8, Windows 7, or if you're using a Mac, it will also work as well. The first thing we're going to do is come up here to the menu up here in the top right hand corner. And this very first step is the only step that's different on a Mac than it is on a Windows. So I'm going to first show you here on Windows, and then I'll show you how to do it on a Mac. But what we want to do is just make sure the web browser is up to date because that includes security updates. And so again, we just click on this menu up in the top right corner and on a Windows, you will come down here to the question mark and click on About Firefox. And then right here, it will tell you if the browser is up to date. If it's not, it will start to automatically update. If you are using a Mac computer, the way that you double check that Firefox is updated is you'll come up here to the top left click where it says Firefox and go to About Firefox and then it will take you to the same window. It will just let you know if Firefox is updated and if it's not it will automatically update. Next you can go ahead and just close this little window and we're going to come back up here to the menu and we're going to go to uh, add-ons and so we'll go ahead and click on that and then on the left hand side just double check make sure you have the extensions tab selected and it will list all of the extensions here in the middle. Uh, the first thing you will want to do is click on this little gear icon and just make sure that updates are checked for automatic updates. And also go ahead and click this option that says check for updates. Now the less extensions you have on your browser the better. Um, extensions are a common way for malware or hackers to get into the browser as well as they can slow it down. So to increase security and privacy, um, as well as optimization, it's best to have zero extensions if possible. So what we're going to do is just go through our list here, and we're just going to start uh, removing the extensions we no longer need to help clean it up. So I'm going to click on Remove. Now if you have an extension like this, that is like a password keeper or password vault, that's one that you could keep. Um, we recommend that if you have an extension that you're going to keep to disable it when it's not in use, so it's not always running. So we're just going to go ahead and disable that one. If you find a, an extension that has toolbar in the title, it absolutely must be removed. So we're going to remove that one. Same with this one. It has toolbar, so we're going to hit remove. We're getting rid of this one as well. It doesn't matter who it's from. It could be from Yahoo. It could be from AVG. Anything with toolbar in it needs to be removed. And then we're also going to get rid of this last one as well just because we don't need it. It's just slowing everything down. And so we got it down to just one extension. And this is an extension that we will be using. So we're going to leave it disabled when we're not using it. When we do want to use it, we'll come here and enable it. And then once we're finished, we will just disable it again. Now, you will have to restart the browser um, after you've removed everything everything so I'm gonna go ahead and just close the browser and then open it here again and when it restarts those extensions that were removed will now fully be gone you can see that the toolbar that was up here is now gone as well as all of the junk that was here and then we're just gonna go back here to add-ons and so that's everything for the extensions tab the next thing you will want to do is go to the plugins tab now, this will list all the plugins that are in your Mozilla Firefox web browser. What you'll want to do first is come over here and make sure that as many as you can are set to Ask to Activate. Now, some of them are not going to give that option, so you can just leave them the way they are. But if they do give the option to set it to Ask to Activate, that's what you'll want to set it to, so that way it's not always running uh, in the background. And it also is important to increase security, so that way you don't have um, as many vulnerabilities in your 
uh, web browser. So again, just set as many of these drop down menus to ask to activate as possible. Next, you will want to make sure that all of your plugins are updated. Now, if you see a message like this, you'll definitely want to click on update now to update the plugin. And it's very important to keep them updated just because they include security updates. Now, also what you'll need to do, and I will list this URL down in the description below, but what you'll want to do is just copy this, open up a new tab, and paste it in. And what this will do is just double check and make sure all of your plugins are up to date. If they're not, down here it will give you a list of all your plugins and it will have an update now option if it finds any plugins that are outdated. So just make sure you put in this URL. If anything says it needs to be updated, go ahead and do the update. After you update your plugins, just make sure you restart the browser again, and then you can come back here just to double check, and you can see now we are uh, up to date, as well as if we go to the plugins list underneath add-ons, you can see that we no longer have a message to update. Also one thing, after you update a plugin, just double check and come back over here and make sure it's still set to ask to activate. So you'll just want to double check these one more time because sometimes after they update, they'll go back to always active. But again, we want to set as many of these as possible to just ask to activate. So just double check them again after you do the updates for the uh, plugins. Now because we have our plugins set to ask to activate, when you're surfing the internet you might get a message like this one up here at the top where it's asking for permission to run this is where it's asking to run the plugin you might get a little message up here in the top left corner or it might pop up here on the top right now if you're on a website that you know and trust for example right now we're on ESPN and we know ESPN is a legitimate website and that it's safe we can go ahead and hit allow um, we could actually hit allow and remember so that way it's not asking us to it's not asking us for permission every time we come to this website so again if it's a website you know and trust and that you know is a legitimate website you can click allow and remember and what it will do is remember that you set that setting and allow the plugin to run every time you come to this specific website again do not allow on websites you don't know or do not fully trust Next what we're going to do is come back up here to the menu and go back to, we're actually going to go to options and if you're on a Mac it will say preferences but it will take you to the same place and so we're not going to go through everything here just the general um, ones that have to do with performance and security and so underneath the general tab if you want to make Firefox your default here's the button to do so. You can also select what happens when Firefox first opens and you can change your home page here so if malware changed your home page here is where you would change it back to whatever you want it to be I'm just gonna set this one to be Google and then you could also if you wanted to you could change the download uh, location normally you'll just want to leave this as is the downloads folder but if you ever did need to change it you can change where files download when you're in Firefox next you'll want to come up here to search this is where you can set your default search engine. Right now it's set to Yahoo. So when I use this search box up here, it automatically uses Yahoo. But if, for example, I wanted it to be Google, all we do is we click, uh, click on this drop down menu and go to Google. And then now, if I use this little box up here on the top right hand side, you can see it's now going through Google. If you're looking to increase privacy and security, you'll want to change this to DuckDuckGo um, because they do not track their users. Other than that, you'll want to use either Yahoo, Google, or Bing. Um, make sure you are not using a malware-related search engine. So again, only use Yahoo, Google, or Bing. If you're looking to increase security and privacy, DuckDuckGo would be the next uh, best option. If there's a search engine that you need to remove, you can come down here and just select it and then click on remove and it will remove it from the list. Next you will want to select the privacy tab here on the left hand side and first thing you'll want to do is just double check make sure that this box is checked 
and then click right here where it says manage your do not track settings and make sure that this box is also checked and then hit OK. Underneath history, um, normally I would recommend that you just leave this to remember history because if you don't want Firefox to remember your history while browsing, the best thing to do is to just come up here and go to a new private window and this will automatically delete your history once the browser closes or in other words it won't keep track of your history uh, but if you want to change it you can you can select it to uh, never remember history if you want to just in case you're worried you won't remember to use the private uh, window but that's up to you if you need to clear your history you can do so by clicking right here and if we click on details we can select what options we're going to delete if you want to delete everything you can check every box change this to everything and that will clear all data history everything out of the browser and it's good to do that periodically as far as at least clearing the history just to keep the browser healthy because if too much garbage builds up into it that can cause performance issues next we're going to go to security and we strongly recommend that you always check these top four boxes and then down here these are going to be more optional but if you're looking to increase uh, security uh, you can check to use the remember logins for sites if you're going to do that though we also recommend that you chat, uh, check use a master password and then the reason why is because if someone gains access to your Mozilla Firefox web browser and all of your passwords are saved into it and you don't have a master password as well they'll then gain access to all of your passwords so we would recommend that if you're going to use this setting which most people do that you also use a master password it will just bring up uh, this box where you can set up a password and that will just help prevent someone from stealing any of the passwords that are saved in your uh, Firefox web browser quick uh, little bit of information underneath sync here you can create a, an account which will uh, sync your information so if if you make a change on your home computer and then you go to work and sign in with the same account into Firefox the changes you make at home will carry over to work and so all that data is encrypted so we do recommend doing that um, you can just sign in here or you can create an account and this will just sync all of your information across your devices and so it's a very handy tool to use and then last we're going to go to advance so the main things that you need to look out for here is first underneath data choices if you're looking to increase privacy you'll want to uncheck all of these boxes just because that way none of your data will get sent anywhere um, and so this is the maximum for privacy just uncheck all those boxes and then also underneath update you'll want to make sure that you have this top option uh, option selected now the very first step we did was made sure that the browser was, was up to date but you'll also want to make sure that updates are set to automatic as well as also make sure that this box is checked for uh, search engines now this option here you can uncheck it so that it's not running in the background but you'll just have to remember to do step one periodically to make sure your browser is updated so this is optional by unchecking it it will increase performance for your computer because it won't be running in the background but again you'll just have to remember to uh, update your browser periodically and again to do that all we did was click here go to the question mark and then about Firefox and there it tells us that it's up to date. Once you're finished making all of the changes, just make sure that you restart the browser so all of those changes will take effect and then you should be good to go.